welcome back to my channel nice to see you again so in this video I'd like to share with you how I made this so adorable baby shower cake with the cute little elephant on top so easy yet so stunning let's start off with the first thing you would obviously do after baking your cake and covering them in buttercream or ganache that's your choice um, is of course starting to knead your fondant the fondant i'm using is called masaticino it's a swiss brand the one i'm swear swearing to that's my my only choice my one and only uh, every video you ever saw of me using fondant that's the fondant i'm using so of course after kneading it until it's nice and pliable and soft um, is rolling it out with some cornstarch until it's nice and thin um, then covering the whole cake um, trying to get all the kinks out and make it nice and smooth and just perfect um, I'm always trying to focus on the um, on, on the upper edge so nothing rips apart and I don't have uh, nasty elephant skin that's what we call it when it's uh, when it's kind of crinkly yeah, so try to make it as smooth as possible. Then if you need to use your fondant smoothers and polish everything so everything looks nice and neat. The next thing I did was after coloring my fondant in this very nice mint green. That's the color called, uh, yeah, I guess just mint from Wilton. Oh no, it's sugar flare. I'm sorry. Covering, no, coloring the whole bunch of my fondant in this nice mint green. And then of course rolling it out again with some cornstarch so nothing sticks to my table and then covering everything and polishing everything off. If you want to know the height and the circum... Circ how do you say that? The, the, the size of my cakes, geez. Uh, just look in the info box. I'm trying to link everything so you kind of can see how big everything was. Okay, um, so after covering both my cakes, I worked on the the little dots and that's very very easy I just used the back of my piping tip if you have the perfect size of a round cookie cutter just use your normal cookie cutter but in my case I didn't have a cookie cutter that's the perfect size that I was looking for so I just used the back of my piping tip and cut out a whole lot of uh, dots with the tip and um, yeah so just cut a whole bunch out lay them to the side so they can dry for a few minutes and be uh, so they are a bit more sturdy and don't deform as easily and then I'm going to glue them on just with some water you can use tap water you can use some edible glue um, you can make your own sugar glue that's up to you um, I usually just use a bit of water. I have this funky uh, wa water pen, water brush thingy uh, I bought from PME, I think. It's been a long time. Yeah, so just wet the back of your darts and uh, glue everything to your cake. I think that's quite easy. I try to make is make it... Um, uh, how do you say that? Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, just try to glue them on very nice and neat in kind of a pattern if you need to mark first before you glue them on because once they are glued on you can't really get them off um, yeah so just go around glue everything on and then we're actually completely done with the first here very very easy the next thing I did was um, roll out my mint colored green fondant again and um, of course using some corn cornstarch so nothing sticks and then um, I try to make my life a bit easier and use the this this uh, rose cutter a lot of you know it it's called uh, easiest rose ever from the brand F FMM I think I'm not 100% sure um, but I'm but I know you can buy them on eBay from some cheap st China store and um, they're all the same just see if you can find ones that look like this so after rolling out cutting a lot of those out um, you're going to cut them in half as you saw I did and then take your ball tool and your foam pad uh, thinning out the edges a little bit so it looks nice and freely then applying some water or sugar glue whatever um, and stick it just onto your cake it's that simple and of course mm, my fondant is very I don't know I don't want to say heavy but it's just it needs a bit support so I'm just sticking some toothpicks in and I'm trying to stick them in from underneath so I can see the 
the poking, the whole poking. Oh, <laughs> I hope you're trying to get what I'm what I'm saying. But um, yeah, just support the the frilly frilly frills, the fun thingies with some uh, toothpicks for a few hours until everything dries a little bit, and then they'll hold their shape easily and uh, on themselves on on their own. I think that's what you say. <laughs> okay, um, I did that round around on my whole cake. Took a took me around 30 minutes or so, and after that, I just transferred my very nice and cold cake um, onto my nice serving plate, and then I um, continued with stacking the, the cake. I don't have a have an English video yet about stacking my cakes, but it's 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 pretty easy i'm just using some thick um very big um plastic straws the ones you would use um to drink bubble tea i hope that's what it, what you call it in english um yeah just sticking them in the bottom tier and then applying um a cake pot a thin a thin cake pot underneath my smaller tier as you can see right here and then just sticking everything on top it's it's as easy as, as you think it is so uh, don't overthink it just try it if you stick them on without any support they might get squished and yeah oh, how do you say that just try to use the support it's not that nice if you have a cream cream filled cake because it's very uh, not sturdy <laughs> oh lord okay okay Never mind, just continue. The next thing I did was I used a, oh, a tweezer. In Germany it's called a Marzipankneifer. It's like a tweezer for your fondant. Um, I think you can find something like this on eBay or Amazon. I'm 100% sure because that's where I bought mine. Um, the only thing you do is take your tweezers and you just pinch the, um, ha, the edge of the bottom. The, the bottom layer oh oh lord <laughs> i think you get what i'm trying to say and um that was everything i actually did how to make the elephant i don't think it's my uh, i'm in the position to tell you how to make the elephant because i used a different tutorial from a different cake stylist from uh, australia so i'm trying to link that down below if you want to see how to create it yourself uh, you can download the tutorial for yourself and then recreate the whole elephant it's very very easy okay and that's it i hope you enjoyed my video let me know how you guys liked it and i hope to see you in my next video bye